Hi everyone. Today I'm doing something a little bit different because I'm busy playing Zelda and this is pre-recorded, but I did want to go into Pinterest just a little bit for Etsy. Now the best scenario of using Pinterest is to use it for your own website, but if you don't have your own website and you just pin to an Etsy shop, don't pin directly from Etsy to Pinterest. Now I know that they're probably telling you to do that and Etsy makes it very easy like any platform does to pin directly just by clicking a button and you're like, okay, I'm done. I can walk away. I've done my Pinterest for the day. But that's not how Pinterest works. If you're in my Pinterest class, I've done a longer version of this with a little bit more detail. So it's in the new added video section. Go check that out. But I wanted to go into some of the kind of overview details for you to explain why you should not pin directly from Pinterest to Etsy because it doesn't help your account on Pinterest and it's not really gonna help your listings be shown more. So the first thing to understand is that when a pin goes from Etsy to Pinterest, yeah, you might be putting it on your board, but that's Etsy's pin, that's Etsy's website because Etsy has claimed their website on Pinterest and that's why you should pin to your own website. If you have your own website, claim your website on Pinterest and then you can pin to it and that's your account. So you're not really, it, it's hard, kind of hard to explain, but you're not really helping your business on Pinterest by pinning from Etsy directly. And the easiest way to really kind of demonstrate this is to show you what two different pins look like. And it still is kind of helping Etsy more than you specifically, but at least it will take people to your listings and not just to the Etsy platform and give Etsy's Pinterest account a boost in search. So let's look at when you use that little pin button. And like I said, every platform makes it very easy to pin from the platform to Etsy by just clicking a button, okay? That's the laziest way to do it. And it's not the most effective, like I said, but if you just pin that, this is what happens. So you click the button. And then when you go to Pinterest, this is what you're gonna see on the pin. It's called a rich pin. It's drawing information from Etsy because it's linking directly to an Etsy link, which is in the Etsy catalog. So it's going to show the price, it's going to show the title of the item, and it's going to show the title of the item as the description. Now, the other reason that you don't want to pin directly from Etsy is that you never know what Pinterest is doing because Pinterest can change things and that'll mess up how it looks. And I'm sure that if you do pin from Etsy, you've probably seen times where you have a listing pinned and it says out of stock or item not available or something like that. That's nothing that Etsy is doing. That's something that Pinterest is doing. And Pinterest has the control over that. So what you want to do is get the most control over the pin so that they show up the way that you want. And going through the Etsy catalog is one way to get the price on it and makes it look like a product and that kind of thing. But it, it doesn't, it just isn't going to work as well on Pinterest because that's not really what Pinterest is for. Most people go to look for ideas and that kind of stuff. They, they might be shopping, but they're not going there primarily to shop. So the idea is to design a pin that will make people want to go to your shop to find this thing and then find it, not just have the product with the price. Now, I'm not saying that you can't do that ever. I think you should have a variety of pins because there are benefits to having some in Etsy's catalog. And then it comes up in certain searches on Pinterest but it's not going to spread on Pinterest the same way that it would if you actually make your own pins and pin them the right way. So what do I mean by that? All right, so instead of just pinning this pin that goes directly to Etsy, what you wanna do is create your own pins. And another reason for that, let me show you this, is that when you click the link on an Etsy rich pin that goes directly to Etsy, you click the pin it button on Etsy, it's pinned on Pinterest, when you click that link, it takes you back to Etsy to that listing, but it also has other listings at the top. And on mobile, it's the same thing. It'll show the other listings at the top and then your listing. So you're not just advertising your stuff, you're advertising other people's stuff too. That's not what you want. And like I said, when you do that, pin it directly from Etsy, you're advertising Etsy, you're not advertising you specifically. There's other stuff that goes with it. We used to be able to adjust the links on Pinterest to put your shop name in and you know it doesn't work all the time. And like I said, Pinterest changes things and you can't know what they're gonna do tomorrow. So the best way to do this is to do what I'm gonna show you next. What you wanna do is create your own pins that fit with the Pinterest users ideas like gathering inspiration gathering ideas planning things they go to Pinterest to plan parties and get ideas and look for things so if you want to go and post about fashion you want to go and post about events that's the kind of thing you want to think about when you're posting to Pinterest and when you're designing your pins if you just click directly from Etsy you can't design the pin 
and it's not going to be as effective in spreading around on Pinterest. And like I said, I have a Pinterest class. I go into a lot more detail there, and I'll put the link in the description if you want to check that out. But the main thing to remember is that people don't go to Pinterest to buy things first. They go there and they might buy things and there is a big buying intent on Pinterest. So you do want to get your products in front of people. But the way to do that isn't just to say, here, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. You have to be a little a little sneakier about it over there. You have to be a little more subtle and actually go with the intent of people and how people behave on Pinterest. They're there to get ideas. So the first thing to note is that I don't direct any of my pins to Pinterest unless it's something that I only sell on Etsy, which is very unusual. But I usually send everybody to my website. But if you only sell on Etsy, then this is how you should be doing it. Okay, I create my own pins in Pin Generator and you can use whatever program you want. You can use Canva, you can use Photoshop, whatever, what, however you want to make them, that's fine. It doesn't matter. You then want to think about what are people doing on Pinterest? Like I said, they're getting ideas, right? So you want to think of keywords that they would be using when they're getting ideas. Now that might not be the same keywords that are in your Etsy title and that's where the problem comes in because if it's just copying it directly from Etsy, that might not be what people are searching for on Pinterest. Pinterest SEO is different. And again, I go over that in my class. But you want to create a pin that kind of interests people to click on it. It tells something about the thing. It gives them an idea. Maybe I should add this to my board about my little kid's party or whatever they're going to do. And then you want to put the right link in there after you've keyworded it. So this is the pin that I came up with in Pin Generator. And what I do is I use Pin Generator, and I have other videos about that, I use Pin Generator to create the pins and then I download them and then I upload them to either Pinterest or Buffer. And I'm considering not using Buffer next year. I'm just going to use the Pinterest scheduler to make sure that 100% what goes onto my pin gets pinned with it. Because you want control over what the description and the links are and the titles and that kind of thing because you have to use Pinterest SEO, like I said. So I have this pin. I go into the Pinterest pin creator I put in the title, the description, the alt text, all that kind of stuff that I want to do. And some of this you have to schedule the pin or you have to pin it and then you have to go back and edit it to put this information in. But you really should take the time to do that because that's going to help your pin spread on Pinterest. And that's the goal of Pinterest is to get your pins kind of spreading around Pinterest so other people can see them. And you can see how a product pin versus this pin might not spread as much because people might save it, but it doesn't really give people a reason to, and it doesn't kind of connect them with an idea that they might be looking for on Pinterest. So I've got my pin, I've got all the keywords filled out, I've got all that done, and now that comes the link. Now the link, if it goes directly to Etsy with no alterations, it's going to be a rich pin if it goes to a listing. A rich pin just shows the price and that kind of thing, and I, I don't care if it shows the price because I want the link to go to my shop and to show the product. I don't want it to go to the link, the listing and have everybody else's stuff at the top. So what you can do is you can go into your shop, go to your homepage of your Etsy shop, and search for that item. Do a search that will bring that item up and maybe some other related items. And in this case, I'm searching for Monstera leaf because it's a tropical leaf. It's a little cupcake topper. And I'm searching for that in my shop and it's bringing up everything that's kind of tropical party wafer paper related, which is fine because that listing is in the group. And it's kind of like Etsy showing you might also like these related searches, but it's all my own shop and it's all my own products. And that's the control that I want when I pin something. So I do that search in my shop. It brings up all the products. And then I'm going to go and take that entire URL and paste it into the Pinterest link. When I'm on Pinterest saying this is where I want the pin to go, and you could do this later if you want to edit your pins, you can do this. But you can go in and put that entire link in the URL where you want people to go when they click the pin. And what that will do is that when they click the link in that pin, it will take them to that page on your Etsy shop homepage, and it will show them just those products that have that term in it. Now, if at some point I take that listing out of my shop, I will still have other things show up because I have those other products in my shop. And if someone comes there and that cupcake topper isn't there or it's sold out and I haven't noticed and, and refilled it, then they'll still have something to look at and they'll still be in my shop. This pin on Pinterest now is also going to spread more because I've SEO'd it according to Pinterest SEO. And that is not the same as Etsy SEO. It's different. You have to do it the right way if you want Pinterest to pick the pin up and to move it around and show it to more people. So by doing it this way, you're going to get a lot more traffic on Pinterest and you're going to get a lot more traffic to your listings on Etsy or your website, whichever you choose. And on your website, you don't have to be as tricky. Just put the 
link to the listing there. But on Etsy, because it's not your site, it's going to redirect things to where Etsy wants them to go. And that's the problem. So that's one way to work around that. If you're interested in my Pinterest class, check it out in the description and I will talk to you later.